Hey guys, Jason. And today I have some kind of interesting news. Litecoin's hash rate has tripled since ASIC boards have come online. And you might be asking me, well, Jason, what's this mean you know, for the whole community? Can you break this down for me? Well, that's what I'm going to do. So ASICs, um, if we refer to Bitcoin, is kind of interesting. You know, with Bitcoin, we went from you know, CPU mining to GPU mining, then to FPGA boards, and then to ASIC boards. So we've seen this you know, growth. It took a long time, you know, kind of spreads out for the hash rate to, to expand. Um, we saw it with GPUs, a lot of people got online because they had a spare gaming computer or they used their gaming computer when they weren't gaming to mine bitcoins. And the whole thing was is when ASICs or FPGA boards took over and became unprofitable to mine with GPUs, a lot of the miners went and switched to script coin mining. Um, one of the biggest is Litecoin or Dogecoin. And so people say, well, you know, okay, so they switched over because ASICs became, you know, too powerful. Is the same thing going to happen with Litecoin? Now, here's what I want to break down. And this is refers to all cryptocurrency coins that use script mining. So with a GPU or a computer, you know, you're using spare time or you're maybe building a computer, but there's a resell value. <clears throat> there's a resell value. So you know you can resell your GPUs and then or turn it into a personal computer or a gaming computer, whatever you see fit. And you know, if the coin crashes, it's you have no financial investment. Yeah, you have a miners, but unless you have you know 12 or 13 computers or you know many more, there's really no um, economic, you know disparity that happens to you because you know a coin crashes or all script coins crash. Where when people start investing on in ASIC miners for script coins, now they have a financial incentive because here's why. With ASIC boards, you can't do anything but mine script coins. Well, script ASIC. You can only do you can only mine script coins. So nowadays, you know, what's where we're gonna have happen to break this down, we're gonna have a lot of in the next coming months, and this is gonna be, take a while. But it's going to become unprofitable mine, just like with Bitcoin, to mine script coins with GPUs. Um, a lot of people, you know, are kind of questionable about that. A lot of people say, "Well, where do those GPU miners go? Either they completely get out of cryptocurrencies, or they get into coins like, for instance, say, let's say, um, Vertcoin, where it's um, completely GPU only, and they're literally willing to go to the point where they're willing to, you know, fork a coin to make sure it's not ASIC capable. So that's kind of crazy. But you know, you might say, "Well, so how does this give a financial incentive to cryptocurrencies?" In, in the script coin mining realm. Well, here's how it works. So, like I talked about before, a couple of seconds ago, we have GPUs and stuff that you know can mine whenever they want. They can get out of business, not really lose too much financial incentive. But when you buy an ASIC system, right, like the one I have back here, one little hundred dollar device, who basically beats out the mining power of two computers or three total GPUs behind me, which is crazy. It uses a lot less wattage. It's way more efficient. And so what we see, and you might be asked, well, how does the three times hash rate really equivalent into better for script coins? Because a lot of people are, are right now saying, oh, you know, script coins are over, yada yada yada, because you know GP miners are getting out. It all these script coins used to, and this is true. Script coins used to be, you would go mine script coins because you know Bitcoin was becoming too hard to mine, and people wanted to keep using their you know, their Bitcoin miners, so they switched over to mining script. And but because of that, it created this incentive to get into mining, right? But then people started to get interested. They say, wow, I kind of like Litecoin. I kind of like Dogecoin. I kind of like all these script coins. And they start to get more interested in them. They start to you know, invest more time and research and development into script coins. So this initial objective of just moving from Bitcoin because it became you know, too hard, you couldn't mine Bitcoin because with GPUs anymore, isn't true for script anymore. And that's some point I want to really make sure I hit home. Just because GPUs aren't mining script coins anymore, including Litecoin, doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It's actually probably a good thing. It means we're a lot more energy efficient. And one of the cool things is with a hundred dollar miner, you you know beforehand if you got a computer, the, the you know really the best GPU you could get that actually was relatively making you a profit was like the ones I have, which are like three hundred dollars a piece. Nowadays for a hundred dollars you can get an ASIC miner. That's pretty cool, right? And by this hash rate, one of the cool things that it shows is that there's tons and tons of hash rate coming online. Means that, meaning that there were tons of you know, ASIC boards um, that mine just script that were bought up. And this is really cool, uh, really fundamental because of one thing. It means they're not going to leave mining script coins. These ASIC boards are designed just to mine script coins. right? They can't go do anything else but mine script coins. So they have a financial incentive to continue to mine script coins. And we see that with Litecoin. So you might say, well, Jason, the, you know, the GPU miners are going to get out of the business. That could be true. It probably will happen within the end of the year. But ASIC miners mining the script coins like Litecoin, like Dogecoin, are stepping into their place with so much more you know, 
better efficiency with energy with higher hash rates. It's really a, a, a again motion of Bitcoin, except a lot faster. Because like I said before, we had you know with Bitcoin we had CPU, GP or GPU, FPGA, and ASICs. Where with Litecoin we really only have GPU and ASICs. And so it's gonna be kind of interesting to see how it's comparative and how it's different to Litecoin compared or Litecoin compared to Bitcoin or any script point in that matter. So a lot of people have been asking me, you know, worried, oh, Jason, I, you know, my, my GPU miners can become less efficient. And it is. That this is just the same thing happening with Bitcoin. Um, the only thing I can kind of really say, like I previously stated, is you know, I see a lot of these people that mine with just GPUs switching over to coins like um, Vertcoin, you know, where they are literally saying, we'll mine only GPU coins, and if you try to make an ASIC for this, we're going to fork the coin. So that's kind of just an over, general overview of the Litecoin hash rate, what's going on with, you know, script ASICs and what's the future going to bring? This has been Jason Schaffel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.